Hey there, pirates. Welcome aboard the Anime No Me channel. Roger losing his life was a historic moment for the world of One Piece. His departure triggered a new era of pirates in search of a single goal, finding the One Piece treasure. Something similar happened to Luffy during the Logetown arc, but on a much smaller scale, as Luffy wasn't a well-known pirate at that time, and it didn't get much visibility since it was unexpected. However, even with few witnesses to this event, it inspired some pirates. Even Bartolomeo was inspired by Luffy's big smile, deciding to become a pirate. In today's video, we'll discuss the possibility of Luffy being captured again to have his life taken, but this time by the Navy, in a scenario similar to what happened with Ace during the Marineford confrontation. I hope for your support to help our crew win, and to do so, you just need to click the thumbs up button, leave a like, and subscribe to the channel. By doing this, you will win an incredible devil fruit, so just comment which fruit you want. <laughs> Currently, Luffy is one of the most famous pirates in the world of One Piece, being one of the four closest to reaching the One Piece treasure, along with Buggy, Teach, and Shanks. However, there are still enemies that might, at some point, lead Luffy to surrender or be captured, as happened with Roger. Initially, we had the Navy, the Shichibukai, and the Yonko, three powerful organizations that maintain the balance between pirates and the Navy, allowing them to coexist in a relatively balanced era without many conflicts between the two sides. With the dissolution of the Shichibukai, Kai, a new pillar took its place, a scientific organization called the SSG, led by the world's greatest scientist, Vegapunk. We saw that alongside Vegapunk, the five punk directed the other scientists. Throughout the recently concluded arc, we saw that the SSG possesses various powerful combat tools capable of easily defeating powerful pirates. Vegapunk was able to create an advanced version of Pacifistus, capable of creating a type of jelly that blocks anything, similar to Kuma's fruit, but in a more limited way. <laughs> The greatest scientist even managed to create seraphims, small robots with traits of king, one of Kaido's pirates from a powerful and extinct race, each seraphim bearing characteristics similar to the former Shichibukai. These obedient and extremely powerful robots can even face a Yonko's crew, although they are not as effective against a Yonko as we saw S-Hawk confronting Teach. As we can see, the SSG possesses one of the greatest powers in the world due to its extremely powerful creations. The the Yonko are the second pillar due to their high individual strength, as well as having large crews at their side. Finally, we have the Navy, which also commands many Marines, including the three admirals and the fleet admiral, who are the four most powerful Marines in the world, capable of rivaling a Yonko. Furthermore, we know that Akainu personally wants to capture Luffy. The only pirate Akainu doesn't hold back from trying to capture is Luffy, whom Akainu considered a major threat during the Marineford arc, a concern that has since become reality. Due to Luffy being being the son of the revolutionary leader known as Monkey D. Dragon, Akainu sees him as the most dangerous threat to the world alongside Ace and has a dangerously intense obsession with ending Luffy's life. Recently, Luffy has been causing major problems in Egghead, forcing the Navy to deploy an admiral and even a Gorosei, one of the five elders, to try to stop him. Just Luffy's presence in Egghead has caused concern for both the Navy and the world government, wondering what this powerful Yonko intends to do on this island. From the start, it was clear Luffy would become a major future threat threat even if he didn't appear to be. Akainu believes that children bear the sins of their parents, so Luffy would become something similar to Dragon. To prevent this, Akainu tried at all costs to take Luffy's life during the Marineford arc in an attempt to keep Luffy from becoming a problem for Akainu in the future. He was a major obstacle in the Navy's path, something Luffy had already demonstrated by quickly gaining fame. Facing and defeating extremely powerful enemies kept Akainu vigilant of this young pirate's progress. <laughs> During the Marineford arc, in which there was an incredible battle between the Navy and Whitebeard's pirates, Akainu took Ace's life, leaving Luffy in shock after witnessing his brother's life taken by the Admiral. Although the world government is the organization that upholds these three pillars, it also stands above them, holding absolute power over the entire world. Although the Gorosei are old, they are extremely powerful, likely possessing power surpassing that of the Yonko and Admirals, 
possibly making them the strongest in the One Piece universe. With a prolonged fight, this fatigue would increase even further, reaching the point where Luffy would need to rest for an entire week, just as he did after the confrontation with Kaido and Wano. This capture could set the stage for one of the biggest battles ever seen in the world of One Piece, where all of Luffy's allies would unite to form one of the largest fleets in existence, aiming to rescue him. Luffy's capture could be pivotal for the story of One Piece, allowing Luffy to make an even greater impact on the world just as Roger did with his execution. As we saw in Roger's past, after finding the One Piece, he decided to dissolve his crew. Roger had one last meeting with Whitebeard, where they talked about various important things, even about his plans to live a normal life now that he was no longer a pirate, which saddened Newgate, knowing he would no longer see his rival on the seas. At some point after leaving his crew, he met Porgus D. Rouge, a woman who lived on Batarilla, and the two fell in love. Over time, Rouge became pregnant with Roger's child. They began to plan a future, though Roger knew he would not be there for it. Knowing he would lose his life before he could even meet his child, Roger left Rouge and surrendered to the Navy to stage a grand public execution ceremony. While in prison, he asked his old enemy, Garp, to take care of his child after he was gone, as Garp was the only one strong enough to protect his child from the Navy and the world government. He believed that a child shouldn't be branded a criminal simply because of family ties. Though Garp said he had no obligation to fulfill this wish, Roger knew he would do it anyway, as Garp had a big heart, and Roger was sure Garp wouldn't let the Navy take a child's life just for being the son of the world's greatest pirate. Thinking they could make an example out of him to deter others from becoming pirates, the Navy brought him back to his hometown, Logetown, to face his execution in front of a large crowd. However, just before his end, Roger shouted his famous last words, saying his treasure was somewhere in the world and that any pirate could go and find it. This triggered the Great Pirate Era, with countless people seeking to find the world's greatest treasure to gain the same fame as Roger, making this event one of the most important in the world of One Piece. With Luffy's capture, he could spark the beginning of a new era as well, somehow inspiring people with his words, telling the entire world that Joy Boy, also known as Nika, had returned in this era and that he would be the one to free all who believed in him. This would bring joy to all those who had long awaited the return of the sun god Nika, reigniting the flame of hope in their hearts and sparking a revolution in pursuit of freedom. That was today's content. We hope you liked it and want to share your opinion on the subject. Don't forget to share the video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and stay amazing.